Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Neha, and today we will discuss uh, Green Chemistry Principle Number Eleven. So up till now we have seen ten principles of Green Chemistry, and uh, today we will discuss eleven. And the next video I'll post uh, to discuss Green Chemistry Principle Number Twelve. So let us go ahead with what is eleven. a uh, principle all about it says a real time analysis for pollution prevention the theoretical uh, word of this principle is you have to develop an analytical method to allow for a real time in process monitoring and control prior to the formation of hazardous substance what does that mean they say that uh, in order to check the process that the process is working fine or not whether you are making the right product with the right quality is there any hazardous substance which is also uh, produced as a waste in the process you have to perform the experiment in real time and different analytical methods you can use in order to check those particular loopholes so basically why it is important because exacting real time control of chemical process is essential for efficient safe operation with minimum production of waste means you have to do a rehearsal kind of thing wherein in the process when you are doing that you can different parameters you can change them for the improved version and overall your process then will become efficient and safe and there'll be less waste let me tell you with the help of an example let's say uh, your process may uh, produce toxic products so during the process if the toxic product is made or not you want to check that for that um, uh, you have to do this online monitoring of impurities or by product you have to take the samples and you have to check whether the by product is toxic or not and for that which tool you are using is nano sensor so basically in this 11th principle we are going to use a analytical method or a tool in order to process uh, the particular in order to check the um, monitor the in process throughout the process you have to monitor each and everything just have to perform it real time and control different parameters let's say one more example if i say uh, uh, which we normally do in our daily life that's cooking if you are preparing a dish basically any dish if you are preparing that is the pro chemical reaction taking place right so that is the process now you have to in process monitor it with the help of some tool right so how are you going to process uh, monitor the process obviously in between we have different checks right sometimes uh, we uh, check for the taste we take out some sample of the uh, food and then we check the taste if the taste is not according to it we can add different supplements like salts and spices and all then uh, we can uh, check the texture like if it is more diluted the water is more or if the water is less we can decide accordingly then uh, we can change uh, check the temperature by touching uh, it or by taking some spoon right or take out sample so spoon is basically that tool which we are going to take or use in order to check and if the temperature is high we will reduce the heat uh, inlet or vice versa so basically when you are preparing something you have to go for real time analysis for that particular process then you find out monitor the process monitor the steps one by one and check out whether you can uh, play with the parameters let's say if you want to check the temperature uh, you can use a inbuilt thermometer in the reaction if you want to check the ph uh, you can either use a ph paper or a ph meter different sophisticated instruments like conductivity meter etc can be used within the process so the main aim for a chemist is real time analysis which is check the progress of a chemical reaction as it's happens right so as it is happening you just check the progress so if we do so uh, before going uh, for the completion of the reaction uh, in the lab scale if you just trying it once and exacting it real time and checking all the parameters you'll be able to improve it so the final call would be knowing when your product is done can save a lot of waste time and energy 
so i guess with that you are able to understand what is 11th principle all about so do hit a like uh, that will give me motivation and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe thank you so much